This is Princey Seat's channel, your preferred channel for most current and detailed content and information needed. You are welcome. If you are new kindly subscribe and press the notification button for further updates. Next week disbursement assured by Ustaz Dodd. Pay attention to this. I greet you all in the most benefit and great and I say may the peace and the mercy and the blessings of Allah be upon us all. First of all, may the adoration, praises, and blessing go to our leader, our prophet, our mentor, our teacher, Rasulullah Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and um, his household, his companion, and the religion which he introduced al Islam. Um, aside from that, we say again, may the peace and the mercy and the blessings of our Lord be upon us all. My name is Sister Daoud of All Gampedia Group. And um, this platform is our platform. It's my platform, it's our platform. A dua say for Muminin. Dua, as in prayer, the literal meaning is prayer, is the sword of believers. And um, like as we say, this platform is for us. And I want to use this medium to talk to us just for a few minutes. Like I say, brother took my attention to this very platform just now. And it is good for me to talk. But um, sometimes I just feel like um, we just have to wait and see how it goes. So many things have gone into the grant community. Both bad, bad, bad. Some little good and bad. And some little good. We cannot really say... We have achieved everything, but Alhamdulillah, like as we know, every situation that a Muslim finds themselves in, we always say Alhamdulillah. Or we say, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajun. So many members of grant community or grant subscriber have returned back to their maker. Why some are in difficult situation, why some have lost money, why some have lost health, some lost food, shortage of food, every other thing. And um, in that cause, we say in Allah or in Allah June and Alhamdulillah everything that happens Allah knows best. And um, one thing that we know for sure is that um, we know there is grant and we know that grant is meant for disbursement and we believe that that grant that grant will be disbursed and we are working towards that very disbursement. From our own angle we have always from our own angle we have always believed in the time of Allah. In the time of Allah, Allah said that um, if you are patient, you will get your reward in full without anything. And at the same time, Allah said that He is with the patient ones. I know many of you don't know me as somebody who is patient. I I can't really say I'm that patient anyway because I'm an agitator. I'm an agitator. Whenever I see something that is not right, I will quickly rush to say it. But doesn't mean that I didn't believe in what I believe. Um, Sometimes why I usually fight or why I usually talk is because when I see people are misbehaving. People who don't know God claiming that they are servant of God and they are tarnishing the name of God. At the same time, people who are oppressors. Because in Islam, you were commanded to stop not not to oppress and as well to stop oppression in another narration you were commanded to or we were commanded to defend those that were those to defend all those that were oppressed the weak ones and as well to defend those that are oppressors then the, the sahabas asked rasulullah yeah rasulullah they said according to them they said we know how to defend those that were oppressed well how can we help those that are oppressors because in the narration help those that were oppressed and help those that are oppressors we can now help those that were oppressed but we don't know how to help those that are oppressors then rasulullah said that when they ask this question they put this question to rasulullah rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam said you should stop them from oppression this is what rasulullah said to them the only way you can help those that are oppressors is for you to stop them from oppression and that is what i am only doing most time in grant community i'm not just um an agitator i hate oppression and i always come sometimes to defend myself because i don't want to be oppressed 
because if I remain, if I act to be a coward, that means I'm not a good Muslim. Although in Islam they said that um, some part of Iman, part of it is for you to stop what is wrong or stop what is evil, and the other part of it is for you to as in use your hand to stop evil. Then if you can't, then you use your mouth to stop evil. And if you can't, then you ignore it. You go away from it completely. So, and then we know in this community, this is not the Islamic community. So you cannot start fighting in your own way just to establish what is right. Because people will not see it the same way. But sometimes you have to talk. You just have to use your mouth at least talk. Then if you feel like talking will bring insults to you or bring insult to religion, sometimes you just have to remain silent. But somebody like me, I am not in the part of those who will remain silent over evil act. I'm in the part of those who will talk since I don't have power to fight. So, inshallah, our tongue will not lead us to destruction and will not lead our people to destruction and will not lead what we are looking for, for to destruction. Where we are today in the ground community, we didn't fight to be here, not because of our fight. We don't have money to buy our way into this place. And we didn't bribe anybody to be here. And we didn't talk to anybody to bring us here. It's by the grace of Allah that we are here. I remember when we used to kill behind some people. I remember that then. I remember when we used to ask what is happening, what is happening, how it is. I remember then. Somebody will collect information from somebody, will collect information from somebody. That is how it will pass until it gets to us. But now, it is not like that anymore, alhamdulillah. One thing I want us to know is that when the time of Allah comes, nothing will change it, nothing will stop it. Allah said that um, He created us to toil, toil, struggle. And um, Allah will definitely look into your struggleness or your effort, something of that nature. So we are struggling, we are praying, and we are moving up and down just to see that um, this movement make happen. And Allah will consider our struggle and as well have sympathy on us and as well make it easier for us to have this disbursement or for this disbursement to happen. So many things are there that we cannot talk about but I just want you to know that as a Muslim you just have to believe, have faith in Allah. As you have faith, sadaqat shouldn't be too far from you and dua shouldn't be too far from you. In, as a Muslim don't just believe, a Muslim walk towards their own belief. We walk towards our belief. Our religion is full of practical. Practical is even more than what we were expected to just believe in. We practicalize our belief, our religion, our faith. And that is what I want us to continue doing. Although Akeda is um what I'm trying to, um, what I'm trying to say is this. Um in Islam we have different kind of Akeda, but Akeda is not what I'm preaching now. I'm preaching on we Muslims in general, Al Muslim, Ahud Muslim, we Muslims should kindly not get tired. Pray for us, pray for disbursement, and as well, continue praying. Allah will definitely hear our prayer, and believe me, disbursement can happen anytime. Wallahi, wallahi, summa billahi, Allah knows best, but disbursement can happen anytime. The money is there and it's coming, and we are preparing for it, and you are working for it, inshallah. Allah give us the strength to continue chasing and we are still chasing and everything will definitely be okay. In the mercy of God, we are not just working with peace, we with um, belief or faith, but we are working both with faith and what we can see. And there is money to be disbursed and that money is coming to us, believe me. No matter how lies have gone far in the grand community, no matter how trick have gone far in the grand community, no matter how whatever, whatever and scam have gone or have taken over the grand community, we still believe we have a merciful God. There are some persons that will say, Oh God, answer this prayer. And Allah will just answer. We have special people still living within us in this life. And they are still there. And the moment they say, Amen to your prayer, that means it is over. Allah has answered your prayer. May those kind of people get into this very matter and as well answer Amen to whatever we are wishing for in this grand community. We have followed wrong, wrong people. We have followed wrong, wrong leaders. We have followed deceivers, we have followed betrayers, we have followed greedy people, we have followed oppressors, we have followed scammers. We have followed so many people in this girl community thinking that they are the right person for us to follow, thinking that they can lead us out, thinking that that is the mistake we all have been doing. 
we have to follow God, follow Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, continue praying. Whoever that is your leader, just pray for him, for Allah to use him well. But unfortunately, why it's very, very difficult in Grand Community is that we don't know who are the true leaders in Grand Community. We don't know who are the real leaders in Grand Community because some people will say that um, I'm the one. But unfortunately, they're just using that language to deceive you. Some people will say that it's my inheritance. Unfortunately, they are using that language to deceive you. Some people will say that I know about it or some all those kind of things. There's there are so many languages that they have used to deceive us in the ground community, but it is not all the same now. Because those people we used to follow yesterday, those people we used to believe in yesterday, those people who call leaders yesterday, today they have their lies have come out and they are now some kind of rag. It is this entity in this grand community. But inshallah. God will lead us out. We follow Allah and we allow Allah to use us. And definitely Allah will use us successfully and we will deliver to we will deliver the messages of Allah in his own infinite mercy with peace and with sincerity and with justice. And Allah will make it easier for us. And my people, this very message is for the Muslim Ummah and Grant community. Thank you. And I want us to maintain the line of peace and as well always stand for justice and stand for truth and stand for disbursement inshallah as we are expecting disbursement we are not going to fast this ramadan completely without be, without noticing the favor of allah on us without noticing the mercy of allah on us without noticing the rahma of allah on us inshallah allah will definitely send down his mercy in this period with the mercy of allah thank you my people once again Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.